Hi, I'm Ashley Yoakum. I'm the Executive Research Strategy Lead of the BAML Master Trial. BAML is a master clinical trial that screens AML patients 60 years and older and assigns personalized treatments within seven days based on targeted genomic sequencing and cytogenetics. The BDML Master Trial is a standalone screening protocol that always stays open while protocol treatments can open and close for the duration of the program. To date, the Master Protocol has screened over 1,600 patients, and over 600 patients have been treated on one of the 14 different BDML subprotocols. BDML is currently open at 12 academic sites in the United States, and we are currently adding new sites to our program. Our initial analysis published in Nature Medicine in 2020 showed that it was safe for patients to wait seven days to receive treatment. And considering that AML patients were traditionally treated on the same day of diagnosis, this was practice changing for AML treatment. Additionally, the study showed that patients who were not fit for chemotherapy did better on a beat AML or personalized treatment than on HMA alone. At ASH in December 2020, we presented an update survival analysis of this older AML population that were not eligible for chemotherapy. And this time we included patients who were treated with venetoclax and hypermethylating agents, which received accelerated approval in 2018 and full approval in November 2020. What we saw was that HMA treated patients had a median overall survival of six months, that the VEN um, HMA treatment was a median overall survival of 13.2 months, and that patients treated on a targeted approach in a BDML master or substudy had a median overall survival of 14 months. So what we can gather from this data is that HMA has um, really increased median overall survival for AML patients who are not fit for chemotherapy, um, but also shows that targeted approaches do serve as a great option for AML patients and provide strong rationale to further pursue combined targeted therapies to um, venetoclax and um, hypermethylating agents for triplet therapies to hopefully therefore increase overall survival for older AML patients. So where BDML is today is that we're still focused on newly diagnosed AML, but we're also expanding into relapse refractory and high-risk MDS patient populations. First off, BDML is still focused on finding the targeted approaches for AML subgroups who have not received targeted therapies and that are in still need of new treatments, including those who have TP53 mutations, complex karyotype, RAS mutations, among others. Therefore, BDML is still on the search for effective and safe therapies for these newly diagnosed patient populations. Second, BDML is focused on progressing triplet therapies with venetoclax and azacitidine. Veneza did receive the full FDA approval in November 2020 and now serves as a standard of care for unfit AML patients. Veneza is an effective treatment, but still not curative, and it's hard to build upon to form triplets with new novel therapies. It's also not very well tolerated by all patients. So in order to optimize the standard of care, BDML has opened the first fully LLS-sponsored clinical trial, OptiAML, where we are investigating if a reduced venetoclax schedule of 14 days versus the FDA label approved 28 days of venetoclax in combination with azacitidine will be just as effective with the same response rate. We also believe that shortening venetoclax exposure will allow patients more time to recover their counts and reduce the adverse events, therefore making this 14-day venesa backbone um, better to add novel target targeted approaches to. We will complete this um, enrollment by summer and the results will be available by the end of the year. Thirdly, BDML has also expanded our clinical trials to relapse and refractory patients. We've heard from our investigators that we still need to be able to have better options for relapse refractory AML patients, and we are actively looking for companies to partner with us to provide treatments to these patients who either do not respond or have relapsed on Veneza, or if they have relapsed with a specific mutation. We did open our first relapse refractory study for patients 18 and older, 
last year with Lamont Therapeutics, where we are testing Lamotinib, their FLT3 IRAC4 inhibitor in patients with FLT3 mutations. This study is currently enrolling and we will share updates on this study as it progresses. We have also expanded our screening protocol to include high-risk MDS patients, and we are still looking to start our first um, high-risk MDS specific step study. The fourth thing BDML is doing is exploring technology that will allow more decentralized and patient-centric trials. This includes wearable patches that will measure vital signs, including EKGs. Customized alerts can be set up for changes in the vital signs, such as increased temperature to help identify febrile neutropenia, or EKGs to detect cardio issues. And these alerts can be set up in order to bring the patients back into the clinic to prevent these suspected adverse events from becoming serious. We are also looking into microsampling in order to reduce the amount of blood that is taken from patients, which will have a great impact for pediatric patients as well. BDML welcomes new partnerships with pharmaceutical as well as technology companies to join us in accelerating treatments and improving the quality of life for all AML patients. Mm -hmm.